Before we begin our program, here is a brief message from iSurgeons Associates, a sponsor of the 2021 Summer Reading Program. See them learn. See them experience things for the first time. See happiness. See an eye doctor before age three. See better, live better with Eye Surgeons Associates. Hello! Hello! Welcome to another episode of Color Your World, Be an Illustrator. This week, we are going to model our artwork after the illustrator, Lois Ellert. An illustrator is the person who creates the art for a picture book. The images they create tell the story along with the words. As I've said before, this is an extremely important part of any picture book. Lois Ellert has written and illustrated dozens of picture books, including Planting a Rainbow, Growing Vegetable Soup, Snowballs, and Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Ellert's art is characterized by collages of brightly colored paper cutouts. She is also known for creating images using found objects such as seeds, ribbon, bottle caps, and leaves. When she was a young artist, her father would give her spare pieces of wood from his woodworking, and her mother would give her scraps of cloth from her sewing. This encouragement fueled Ellert's passion to create more art using unusual and unique materials. Today, we will be focusing on Ellert's nature-inspired works, most notably Leaf Man, which uses found objects in nature. To get started, we thought it would be a good idea to read the book which tells the tale of a drifting man made of leaves and all of the sights he sees and the characters he meets along his journey. Since we're gonna be modeling our artwork after Leaf Man by Lois Ellert, the first thing that we need to do is go on a nature hunt and you'll need to gather items from nature. The best time to go hunting for natural items for artwork is probably fall, which is characterized by the many leaves you can find in vibrant yellow, red, and orange. But we did our best trying to find leaves, twigs, and seeds to create our own Lois Ellert art. We also picked a few flowers to add more color, but it is important to ask permission from a grown-up before plucking anything. As you are looking for objects to use for your art, you may have an idea of what you want to create, choosing things along the way that fit the picture in your mind. Or you may find a particular leaf or piece of wood that reminds you of an animal or something else, and let your artwork build from there. Once you've gathered all the items from nature that you want to use, you're going to need a few more things. One thing that is very helpful is a large piece of paper, something for your background. You could also just use a surface and place the nature items on it. You just want something that's going to make a nice background. Another thing you'll probably need are scissors. This is so that you can cut things to different shapes if they aren't exactly how you want them to be. Also an optional thing is glue. You don't actually have to use glue for this project, which may be surprising, but we're actually gonna just take pictures of our creations when we're done, so they don't actually have to stick to the paper. Once you've gathered your natural objects, it's time to arrange them on a piece of paper or a background. If you want to keep them secure, you can use a bit of glue, but you may want to just arrange them on the paper. Ellert actually took photocopies of her leaves, seeds, and other materials before combining the images into the pictures seen in her books. To save time, we are going to arrange our pictures before taking a photo of them. Then, if you haven't glued anything down, you can move your character into different poses or add in other objects to make a story with pictures. Additionally, items from nature are difficult to keep. They tend to dry up, become brittle, and change color over time. By taking a picture, you're preserving your artwork as you created it. Have fun creating different scenes from Ellert's books or see what kinds of unique characters you can make using your found objects. You may want to try your hand at making a rabbit, a mouse, a rooster, or the famous leaf man. If you would like to read any of Lois Ellert's books, come into the Bettendorf Public Library. Her books are located in the favorite authors section of the picture book collection. You can also check out Alert's autobiography, which gives insight into how she became one of the most talented picture book artists and inspired many young artists to explore their creativity as she did. We hope you enjoyed making art like that of Lois Ellert. Next time, we are going to be studying the art of Peter H. Reynolds. Until then, bye! bye.